So these three types of streets will then weave together into a woven grid of three by three city blocks, each framing a local park or courtyard. But the efforts to rebuild it are now well underway. And in tonight's Prime Focus, every piece, even every deformity, is being rebuilt just as it was. In a world where innovation meets ambition, the construction industry, along with its mega projects valued at trillions of dollars globally, is the backbone of our modern civilization, driving economic growth and transforming landscapes. These projects, from futuristic cities to colossal infrastructure, represent the pinnacle of human ingenuity and engineering prowess. Join us as we delve into the details of these breathtaking ventures, uncovering the stories behind 20 of the most expensive construction projects in the world. Number 20. Neom. Neom is an ambitious 500 billion US dollars mega project in Saudi Arabia, designed to be a cutting edge hub for innovation, sustainability, and economic diversity. Launched in 2017 by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, Neom is part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 initiative, which aims to reduce the country's dependence on oil and diversify its economy. Situated in the Tabuk province in the northwest of the country, Neom covers an area of 26,000 500 square kilometers stretching across the Red Sea coast and bordering Jordan and Egypt. This strategic location allows for seamless international connectivity, positioning Neom as a global trade and tourism destination. Neom's design includes several sub-projects, the most notable being The Line, a 170-kilometer linear city that promises to revolutionize urban living. The line will have no cars, streets, or carbon emissions, relying instead on ultra-high-speed transit and autonomous vehicles, making every essential service reachable within a five-minute walk. The city will be powered entirely by renewable energy, emphasizing sustainability and minimizing its environmental footprint. Another key aspect of NEOM is its focus on technological advancement. It plans to incorporate AI, robotics, and IoT to create a fully interconnected urban environment. NEOM also aims to be a center for the biotech, energy, water, food, and entertainment industries, fostering innovation and economic growth. If successful, NEOM will not only transform Saudi Arabia's economy, but also serve as a model for sustainable living and smart cities worldwide. Number 19. Woven City. The Woven City, an innovative urban development project by Toyota, is set to be a living laboratory for future technologies. Located at the base of Mount Fuji in Japan, this groundbreaking city aims to blend cutting-edge technology with sustainability, redefining urban living. Announced in 2020, the project is being built on a former Toyota factory site and covers approximately 175 acres. Woven City is designed to be fully interconnected with autonomous vehicles, smart homes, and artificial intelligence seamlessly integrated into daily life. The city's name reflects its concept of weaving together three types of streets, one for faster vehicles, one for slower, more personal transport, and one for pedestrians. These streets are intertwined to create a dynamic and efficient urban environment. Central to the Woven City's vision is its emphasis on sustainability. The city will be powered by hydrogen fuel cells and solar energy, aiming to minimize its carbon footprint. Homes and buildings will be constructed from sustainable materials and equipped with the latest smart home technology to optimize energy use and enhance residents' quality of life. Woven City will serve as a testing ground for innovations in robotics, AI, and autonomous driving. Researchers, engineers, and scientists from around the world will have the opportunity to develop and trial new technologies in a real-world environment. This experimental approach is intended to accelerate advancements that could shape the cities of the future. The project also emphasizes human-centered design, with abundant green spaces, parks, and community areas promoting well-being and social interaction. Number 18. Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam Situated on the Blue Nile River in Ethiopia's Benishangul-Gumuz region, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, GERD, 
is one of Africa's most ambitious and contentious infrastructure projects. It is set to be the largest hydroelectric power plant on the continent. Initiated in April 2011, the project aims to transform Ethiopia's energy landscape and bolster its economic development. With an estimated cost of $5 billion, the GERD stands 145 meters tall and stretches 1,800 meters across. It will have a reservoir capable of holding 74 billion cubic meters of water and a power generation capacity of 6,450 megawatts. This capacity will not only meet Ethiopia's burgeoning domestic energy needs, but also allow for electricity exports to neighboring countries, fostering regional economic integration. The dam's construction, largely funded by Ethiopians through bonds and donations, represents a significant national effort to harness the Blue Nile's potential. It is envisioned to stimulate industrialization, create jobs, and reduce poverty by providing reliable and affordable electricity to millions. However, the GERD has also been a source of tension with downstream countries, particularly Egypt and Sudan, who rely heavily on the Nile's water for their own needs. Concerns over water flow reduction and water rights have led to protracted negotiations and international mediation efforts. Despite these challenges, the GERD embodies Ethiopia's aspirations for energy independence and economic progress. Number 17. LaGuardia Airport Construction LaGuardia Airport, located in Queens, New York, has long been a vital hub for domestic air travel in the United States. Opened in 1939, it was named after New York City's then-mayor, Fiorello LaGuardia. Over the decades, LaGuardia has been known for its convenience to Manhattan, but also for its outdated facilities and frequent congestion. Recognizing the need for modernization, a massive $8 billion redevelopment project was initiated in 2016. The project includes the construction of new terminals, roadways, and improved transportation access. Central to this overhaul is the new Terminal B, a state-of-the-art facility with 1.3 million square feet of space, featuring 35 gates, modern amenities, and a striking central hall. This terminal, along with a new Terminal C developed by Delta Airlines, aims to enhance the passenger experience significantly. The redevelopment also focuses on improving efficiency and connectivity. Enhanced roadways, including new flyovers and improved parking facilities, aim to reduce traffic congestion. Additionally, plans for a new air train link to the New York City subway and Long Island Railroad aim to streamline access to the airport. The new terminals incorporate energy-efficient designs, and the project emphasizes eco-friendly construction practices. Modernized baggage handling systems, advanced security technologies, and expansive retail and dining options contribute to a more pleasant and efficient travel experience. Overall, the LaGuardia Airport Redevelopment Project seeks to elevate the airport to 21st century standards, offering travelers a seamless, comfortable, and efficient journey. Number 16. The Chuo Shinkansen The Chuo Shinkansen, a groundbreaking $64 billion maglev train project in Japan, is set to revolutionize high-speed travel by connecting Tokyo and Nagoya in just 40 minutes. This ambitious project employs magnetic levitation technology, enabling the trains to travel at speeds of up to 500 kilometers per hour, significantly reducing travel time compared to traditional bullet trains. Initiated by the Central Japan Railway Company, the Chuo Shinkansen project began construction in 2014. The route spans approximately 286 kilometers, with 86% of it running through tunnels to minimize environmental impact and reduce noise in urban areas. This pioneering endeavor aims to be operational by 2027, ultimately extending to Osaka by 2045, further enhancing Japan's transportation network. One of the key aims of the Chuo Shinkansen is to bolster economic activity by improving connectivity between major urban centers. This rapid transit system is expected to significantly boost business travel, tourism, and regional development. Moreover, it aims to alleviate congestion on existing rail and road networks, providing a more efficient and reliable transportation alternative. Number 15. 
four skyscrapers in Frankfurt. Four is a striking ensemble of skyscrapers located on the former site of Deutsche Bank's offices in central Frankfurt. Designed by Amsterdam-based architectural firm UN Studio, with structural planning executed by Werner Zobeck Frankfurt, in collaboration with Bollinger and Grohmann, this project embodies the concept of a vertical city. Covering approximately 230,000 square meters, the ensemble will include office space for around 4,000 people and 600 residential apartments, as well as shops and restaurants, with a projected cost of around 1 billion euros. It offers a diverse array of amenities, such as food outlets and retail establishments, catering to a modern urban lifestyle. From an engineering standpoint, four posed significant challenges, including the use of pre-stressed lattice girder slabs, designing an outrigger for structural stability, and employing innovative solutions for connecting precast concrete column. The tallest skyscraper within four reaches a height of 774, boasting the highest usable floor in Frankfurt upon its completion in 2024. Number 14, the Kra Canal. The Kra Canal, a proposed $50 billion megaproject in Thailand, aims to create a shipping route connecting the Andaman Sea with the Gulf of Thailand. This ambitious plan envisions a canal cutting through the Kra Isthmus, significantly shortening maritime travel times between the Indian Ocean and the South China Sea by bypassing the congested Strait of Malacca. The concept of the Kra Canal dates back to the 17th century, when King Narai of Ayutthaya first proposed the idea. However, the project remained on the drawing board for centuries due to political, economic, and technical challenges. In recent years, renewed interest has emerged, driven by Thailand's strategic location and the need to enhance regional trade efficiency. The proposed canal would span approximately 100 kilometers and have a depth of 25 meters, making it capable of accommodating the largest modern vessels. Its construction would involve extensive excavation and infrastructure development, including ports, logistics hubs, and supporting facilities. The Kra Canal promises to revolutionize maritime trade in Southeast Asia by reducing the travel distance by about 1,200 kilometers, resulting in significant fuel savings and reduced shipping times. Economically, the canal could transform Thailand into a major shipping and logistics hub, attracting investment and creating thousands of jobs. The project is also seen as a potential boost to the country's economy, stimulating growth in various sectors such as construction, tourism, and services. Number 13. CL Tower. Set to become the world's tallest hotel, the CL Tower in Dubai is soaring to a height of 360 meters with 82 floors. This architectural marvel, designed by Noor and developed by the first group, is poised to redefine luxury hospitality in the heart of Dubai Marina, one of the city's most vibrant districts. Construction began in 2019, with the project set to be completed by 2024. Upon completion, CL Tower will feature over 1,000 luxury hotel suites and serviced residences, catering to the needs of discerning travelers and long-term guests alike. The hotel will boast a rooftop observation deck, offering breathtaking panoramic views of Dubai's skyline, the Arabian Gulf, and iconic landmarks such as the Palm Jumeirah and Burj Khalifa. Guests will enjoy world-class dining options, a luxurious spa, state-of-the-art fitness facilities, and an infinity pool that seemingly blends with the sky. The tower's design emphasizes sustainability and efficiency, incorporating advanced building technologies and eco-friendly materials. Number 12. Crossrail. Crossrail, known as the Elizabeth Line, is one of the most significant transportation projects in the UK, aimed at revolutionizing travel across London and its surrounding areas. Officially approved in 2008, this ambitious project involves constructing a new railway line that spans over 100 kilometers, connecting Reading and Heathrow in the west to Shenfield and Abbey Wood in the east. The Elizabeth Line, which cost approximately $25 billion, represents a monumental engineering feat with 42 kilometers of new tunnels carved beneath the city. This project integrates 10 new stations and upgrades 30 existing ones, transforming travel across London by significantly reducing journey times, easing congestion, 
and boosting connectivity. One of the key aims of the Elizabeth Line is to support London's growing population and economy by providing a high-capacity, efficient transportation solution. It is expected to carry over 200 million passengers annually, relieving pressure on existing lines like the Central and Piccadilly lines. The trains are state-of-the-art, featuring air conditioning, CCTV, and real-time travel information to enhance passenger comfort and security. The Elizabeth Line also aims to stimulate economic growth and regeneration in areas along its route, particularly in the east. Improved access to Heathrow Airport from central London and the business hubs of Canary Wharf and the City of London is anticipated to bolster business travel and tourism. Number 11. Atal Bihari Vajpayee Bridge the Atal Bihari Vajpayee Bridge is one of Asia's longest railroad bridges, completed in 2018 after 21 years of construction. Named after former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee, it connects Mumbai with Navi Mumbai, enhancing regional connectivity and strategic access. Designed to withstand seismic activity and river currents, it serves as a vital link, reducing travel time and boosting economic and military transportation in the northeastern region of India. The construction of the bridge was initiated at an estimated cost of over $400 million. The Atal Bihari Vajpayee Bridge features a six-lane roadway designed to accommodate the growing vehicular traffic. The bridge's construction employs advanced engineering techniques to ensure durability and resilience, particularly considering the Ganges River's challenging hydrological conditions. The bridge not only aims to reduce travel time significantly, but also to boost economic activities by improving access to markets, healthcare, and education for the local population. Number 10. Songdo International Business District The Songdo International Business District in South Korea is a pioneering $40 billion smart city project designed to showcase the future of urban living. Located near Incheon, just 65 kilometers from Seoul, Songdo IBD spans 600 hectares of reclaimed land along the Yellow Sea, marking one of the most ambitious urban development projects globally. Songdo IBD is envisioned as a global business hub, sustainable infrastructure, and a high quality of life. The city integrates advanced smart systems to manage everything from energy use and waste disposal to traffic and security. One of the standout features of Songdo is its extensive use of information and communication technology. The entire city is wired with fiber optic broadband, and residents benefit from ubiquitous Wi-Fi coverage. Smart sensors and real-time data analytics optimize energy consumption, enhance public safety, and streamline transportation, making the city one of the most efficient and environmentally friendly cities in the world. The city also features a sophisticated pneumatic waste disposal system, eliminating the need for garbage trucks and reducing carbon emissions. Number 9. The International Space Station the International Space Station ISS stands as one of humanity's most extraordinary and ambitious endeavors, representing a $150 billion collaborative project involving space agencies from the United States, Russia, Europe, Japan, and Canada. Launched in 1998, the ISS orbits approximately 400 kilometers above Earth, serving as a unique microgravity and space environment research laboratory. The ISS's construction required unprecedented international cooperation and technological innovation. Modules and components were launched into space and assembled in orbit, piece by piece, over more than a decade. Today, the station comprises multiple interconnected modules for living, working, and conducting experiments, with solar arrays providing the necessary power. The primary aim of the ISS is to conduct scientific research that benefits humanity leveraging its unique environment to perform experiments not possible on Earth. Research aboard the ISS spans various fields, including biology, physics, astronomy, and material science. For example, studies on microgravity's effects on the human body are critical for future long-duration space missions, 
such as those to Mars. Furthermore, the ISS fosters international collaboration, bringing together scientists, engineers, and astronauts from around the globe to work on common goals. As the ISS approaches its third decade in orbit, discussions about its future are underway, with potential plans to transition to commercial use or integrate it into broader lunar and Martian exploration programs. Number 8. New Sydney Metro Line Sydney Metro's inception can be traced back to the late 2000s, when plans were initiated to address Sydney's increasing traffic congestion and the limited capacity of existing rail networks. The first phase, Sydney Metro Northwest, opened in 2019, connecting northwest suburbs like Rouse Hill to Chatswood with driverless trains. The Metro system features automated trains, platform screen doors, and modern stations equipped with amenities such as Wi-Fi and real-time passenger information. Extensions and future stages aim to further expand the network across Sydney's metropolitan area, integrating with existing train lines and bus services. The construction of the Sydney Metro involves complex tunneling beneath densely populated areas and beneath Sydney Harbour. With high speeds of up to 62 to 68 miles per hour, Sydney Metro aims to reduce travel times in some sections and ease congestion on roads. It also aims to improve access to employment, education, and recreational opportunities. The estimated budget for the entire Sydney Metro project is about $14 billion. Number 7. Panama Canal The Panama Canal expansion a monumental $5.3 billion project completed in 2016 is aimed at enhancing the canal's capacity to accommodate larger ships and increase the efficiency of global maritime trade routes. The Panama Canal, initially opened in 1914, revolutionized international trade by providing a shortcut between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. By the 21st century, the canal faced limitations due to the size of ships it could accommodate, prompting the need for expansion. Spanning over a decade, the expansion involved constructing new lock complexes alongside the existing ones. These new locks, known as the Neopanamax locks, are significantly larger and can handle vessels known as New Panamax ships, nearly three times the size of the previously largest vessels. The expansion utilized advanced engineering techniques, including excavating millions of cubic meters of earth and rock and constructing enormous concrete structures. The expanded canal has transformed global shipping routes, allowing for more cost-effective and efficient transportation of goods between Asia, the Americas, and Europe. It has also boosted Panama's economy by increasing canal revenues and creating new job opportunities. Number 6. Notre Dame Cathedral Notre Dame, whose construction can be traced back to the 12th century, has witnessed pivotal moments in French history, from coronations and weddings to revolutionary upheavals. It became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1991, recognized for its architectural brilliance and cultural importance. April 15, 2019, tragedy struck when a devastating fire engulfed the cathedral, causing extensive damage to its roof and spire. The world watched in shock as firefighters battled to save the historic structure, and millions mourned the loss of centuries-old craftsmanship and religious artifacts. In the aftermath of the fire, a global outpouring of support pledged billions of euros towards the reconstruction efforts. The French government launched a meticulous restoration project to preserve the cathedral's original design while incorporating modern techniques and materials. Notre Dame's reconstruction aims not only to restore its architectural splendor, but also to reaffirm its role as a spiritual and cultural beacon. The reconstruction of Notre Dame Cathedral is estimated to cost around $955 million. Funding comes from donations, including pledges from billionaires and corporations. Skilled artisans and modern techniques are employed to restore the damaged roof, spire, and stained glass windows, aiming to preserve their original architectural integrity. All right, guys, it's time for our subscribers pick. This colossal structure hovering amidst the clouds is said to be the model of Japan's Sky City, 
a mega project straight out of a sci-fi movie. And if Japan completes this crazy mega project, the world will change forever. The project aims to address urban overcrowding by stacking living, working, and recreational spaces into a single massive skyscraper. Rising 1,000 meters high and spanning a base of 400 meters, it will house over 100,000 people, complete with offices, schools, parks, and shopping centers. This ambitious project really aims to redefine architectural limits. But would you live here if you were given a chance to? Drop your opinions for us in the comment section. Number 5. Silk City Silk City, also known as Madinat al-Harir, is a visionary urban development project of over $100 billion in Kuwait that aims to transform the country's northern desert region into a bustling economic and cultural hub. At the heart of this ambitious endeavor is the proposed construction of Burj Mubarak al-Kabir, a skyscraper set to soar to a staggering height of 3,284 feet, making it one of the tallest buildings in the world upon completion. The concept of Silk City emerged as part of Kuwait's strategic vision to diversify its economy away from oil dependency. Announced in 2006, the project envisions creating a new city equipped with modern infrastructure, residential areas, commercial spaces, and cultural amenities. Silk City spans approximately 250 square kilometers of desert landscape along the northern shore of Kuwait Bay. Apart from the iconic skyscraper, the development plans include a major seaport, a financial center, a media city, and extensive green spaces. The city aims to attract international businesses, investors, and residents, fostering a vibrant community and contributing to Kuwait's economic growth. Despite initial delays and economic fluctuations, efforts have continued with phased construction and development plans to realize the ambitious vision. Once completed, Silk City is expected to redefine Kuwait's skyline and economy, positioning the country as a regional hub for finance, commerce, and culture. Number 4. Tren Maya Announced by Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador in 2018, the Tren Maya project draws inspiration from the historic Maya civilization that once thrived in the region. This $10 billion railway project aims to boost tourism, create jobs, and improve transportation infrastructure in an area historically marginalized from economic development. The railway will cover approximately 1,525 kilometers, connecting key archaeological sites, ecotourism destinations, and coastal cities. It will also be able to transport about 40,000 passengers every day. It promises to provide affordable and efficient transportation for locals and tourists, supporting both regional growth and cultural preservation efforts. Critics have raised concerns about the project's potential impact on the environment and indigenous communities, and efforts are being made to mitigate these concerns through environmental assessments, community consultations, and sustainable development practices. Tren Maya is expected to attract private investments and create thousands of jobs in construction, tourism, and related industries. As development progresses, Tren Maya holds the potential to reshape Mexico's tourism landscape and foster sustainable development in its southeastern states. Number 3. Samsung Chip Manufacturing Plant Samsung's $17 billion investment in a semiconductor fab in Taylor, Texas, marks a significant expansion of its U.S. manufacturing capacity amid a global chip shortage. Located near Austin, the new facility will specialize in advanced logic chips crucial for mobile phones, 5G networks, data centers, and AI technologies. Despite challenges like recent power outages in Austin, Texas was chosen for its robust semiconductor ecosystem, stable infrastructure, and supportive local government. The 15 million square foot facility will complement Samsung's existing Austin facility, focusing on more advanced chip nodes critical for future technological advancements. Samsung's investment covers clean room construction, essential for chip purity. It highlights the substantial costs involved in producing modern semiconductors and reaffirms Samsung's position as a global leader in semiconductor technology. This strategic move not only expands Samsung's manufacturing footprint, but also strengthens its competitiveness 
in delivering innovative semiconductor solutions to global markets as the tech giant aims to overtake bigger foundry rival TSMC in one of the world's biggest semiconductor markets. Number 2. Gordie Howe International Bridge The Gordie Howe International Bridge Project is a monumental infrastructure initiative aimed at enhancing trade and transportation between Windsor, Ontario, Canada, and Detroit, Michigan, USA. Named after hockey legend Gordy Howe, the bridge aims to address congestion issues and accommodate growing cross-border traffic. The idea for a new bridge to complement the aging Ambassador Bridge, one of the busiest border crossings in North America, emerged due to increasing trade volumes and traffic congestion. The Windsor-Detroit Bridge Authority, WDBA, says that the bridge will open in September 2025 with a construction budget of about $4.8 billion. The bridge will span the Detroit River and connect Windsor's Industrial District with Detroit's Interstate 75 and Highway 401 in Canada. It includes not only the bridge itself, but also extensive infrastructure on both sides of the border, such as new roads and interchanges to facilitate smooth traffic flow. The construction of the Gordie Howe International Bridge involves advanced engineering techniques to ensure durability and safety, considering the harsh winters and strong river currents. It incorporates modern design elements to optimize traffic capacity and enhance border security and efficiency. The bridge is expected to stimulate economic growth by improving access to markets, reducing transportation costs, and creating thousands of jobs during construction and operation. It will support North America's integrated supply chain and enhance the competitiveness of industries on both sides of the border. Number 1. The Kidia Mega Project The Kidia Mega Project in Saudi Arabia is an ambitious endeavor aimed at transforming the kingdom's entertainment and tourism landscape. Located southwest of Riyadh, Kidia spans over 334 square kilometers and is set to become the largest entertainment city in the region. Announced as part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 initiative, Kidia aims to diversify the economy away from oil dependency by boosting tourism and leisure sectors. The project is named after the nearby village of Kidia and is designed to cater to both domestic and international visitors. Kidia will feature a wide array of attractions, including a Six Flags theme park, water parks, sports facilities, cultural venues, and retail outlets. It is envisioned as a comprehensive entertainment destination offering something for everyone, from thrill-seekers to families seeking leisurely activities. The construction of Kidia is projected to cost around $20 billion, with phases planned over several years to complete the extensive infrastructure and attractions. The funding comes from both public and private investments, reflecting Saudi Arabia's commitment to developing world-class entertainment and tourism infrastructure. Once fully operational, Kidia is expected to generate thousands of job opportunities across various sectors, including hospitality, construction, and entertainment. It aims to attract millions of visitors annually, boost local businesses, and contribute significantly to the kingdom's GDP. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.